more about spiritual consulting, the yog, the yog healing decks, Kundalini, Reiki, Reiki in Puerto Rico, and also our services that we deliver worldwide as Surya Soul Sun. So I'm Dr. Olivia Tatara, a healing artist. You can see the different bios online, SuriaSoulSun.com. We have here Dr. John Falcon. He goes artistically by Yaakov Healing Art as one of the main founders of the healing art movements. Through all these different decks that you see here, plus more coming. The Windows and Doors Intuitive Guide Oracle Card, Star Magic Dimensions Oracle, Magic Guide Caddis, the Tent Pig Yo Tarot, the Awakened Mandalas Creative Activations, and many more that are coming throughout this year when you stay tuned with spiritual consultations. So today we're going to go more into that inner healing ability that every single person has and how not to get lost in the madness, the shame, the programming. How do we really tune into our specific gifts, but also know that the way to detoxify and get energy flowing, get it out of the body, if it's stagnant, it's universal. So whatever you want to expand upon, it's really up to your own creative potential. Here, the Star Magic Dimensions Healing Oracle deck provides you guidance, but also attract those that are of the stars that really resonate with that. We are all stardust. We are all originated inside of our DNA with that God and goddess and that alien and that sentient ability. So we just are here to recognize and also bring together those that are ready to go into that field, expand the healing far beyond. It helps us realize we're all connected and like you saw and we've said throughout any of these videos each card carries a different type of star energy whether it's sacred geometry you have here the dodecahedron a very powerful sacred geometric form that can appear to you in times of gigantic transformation colossal for your life that maybe your current form isn't serving what your spirit is trying to attain now that doesn't mean there's this thing called death or loss or different things for some that transformation might be imminent and we can't hold on to death and we have to understand it's a part of life but for others you are presented with the amazing ability to transform your physical your spiritual so that you're able to not get caught up in the different illusions that are coming inside of life. So you have the first eight cards here. It's basically the majority of the deck with the star magic dimensions because there's 10 activation power cards. So we want everyone to see the different things that they have available, such as geometry, such as symbols, light, different interconnectedness. You have here the thunder of the universe with everlasting love, the icosahedron, and when you get these cards, you can also see through them that there is a lot of activation with the colors too. So that's one thing we focus on when we do the spiritual consulting that, okay, it might be, yes, what you say you are going through, but that is also covered up by the programming of what you've been through, not wanting to be judged not wanting to be attached, maybe even wanting a type of attachment and putting someone in a type of role where we have to see beyond that. We don't judge you for what you need, but we can provide you exactly what you're looking for when it comes to a type of clearing or a transmission. So right now on the show uh, from a gentleman, Kyle. Kyle's in New York and he's in college and he had a job that he couldn't go back home to Ohio. And uh, he said that he really didn't want to go back home. I'm skip reading this because it's long. He really didn't want to go back home because there was so much drama between his mother, his father, uh, abuse, drunkenness, all this. He said that he watched our stuff for one year that made him realize to stay, to get a job, to work on his own. He practices meditation and everything else. And now he reached out to us saying that he wants to expand out there and how can he move forward with a whole bunch of... Okay, so how, what, what this goes into is...
the SHIP program. Um, anybody can bring tons of students to us, but first we ought to have a conference with you. Uh, we have to make sure that uh, for the highest good. So it can't be that you're religious, but then you act this way, that way. You gotta be a, a good person, a good name. And once you're considered a good name, then you pass a good name. So Kyle, we have an apprenticeship program. You can sign up, you can contact. But in the apprenticeship program, you have to get a reading from us at least one time so you can experience it. You can't just say you're going for free because you want to go for free and you're going to benefit out of something. We go by law. So uh, that's something that we do say. And we've also been getting some emails regarding different hosts on shows that people are starting. Also have their online radio shows, podcasts that they want us to speak on or maybe even collaborate with. Now, we don't put anyone down for this type of reaching out, we encourage the collaboration, but with our policies and how we operate as a system for healing, in order to get the teaching, in order to have a glimpse into it, you must come and experience it for yourself. And then from there, there can be a further contact. We try to avoid different types of attachments you know that people are just trying to build themselves by collecting information from others and this is one way to build fame yes but we've seen through different things that to build fame in a longevity way you have to experience it you have to live it you have to let it unfold and this is the essence of our system whether you experience a healing art piece, you buy an original, a print, or you're going online and seeing the many channels that we have for subliminal and artistic reprogramming. There's ways that you can fully see what's inside of your life. Now, if you're just collecting people and audios and videos and associations and using that energy to just move forward, then there needs to be a look at where is the depletion inside of oneself. And this is where a reading and a spiritual consulting with Surya Soul Sun and one of the masters that are here can really aid you in finding that clarity and maybe you're not doing truly what you wanna do. Maybe something in your relationship is causing your business to not be totally fulfilled or vice versa. So where is the balance in all of that? And when we look at the energy from the stars, the star magic dimensions death, you can see it's also science. It's not just spiritual. We're trying to bridge that where we have an analytical mind, we have a creative mind, and then of course all together is that divine energy that flows. Some people say it's Reiki energy, Kundalini rising, meditation, breath. It's all of that. So you're here for a reason to get inspired, but not to get inspired from us, just to allow yourselves to clear the channels. Sometimes this may come in where you're feeling so many different types of emotions, or you're feeling sensations inside of your body that may be uncomfortable. We invite you to see it through. It might be easier next time you can see it through, but these different triggers and these different reactions inside the body, mind, emotions are actually signs that you can sit and pay attention to. Through the art, this will help you. Now, let's do an exercise. You saw all the cards. Uh, they've been flashing in front of you constantly. We've been talking over it. Uh, there are certain symbols there. So now let's do uh, an exercise to test these cards out, okay? Scientifically. Okay. Um, what you are trying to accomplish, has anybody else ever did it in life? Yes or no? Don't make an excuse. Yes or no? How many people accomplished it in life? Why? Now here's the big question. What? Here's the why. Why are you acting like 
it can't be done because you said so. It doesn't agree with you. You lazy. It's not that you're lazy. You have a laziness spirit of consciousness that possesses. A laziness spirit of consciousness tends to go around uh, addictive personalities where it might not be substance or alcohol. If it is, then continue to listen because you might need some help to see how that's affected with this. A lot of people now are going alternative routes, and when they tend to take that route, their spirituality or what they believe about manifestation and frequencies and how your vibration and magic is dependent on the flow of the emotions and how you're detoxifying, it all seems to go together. So we don't exclusively limit, we're just going to talk about medicine, we're just going to talk about healing, we talk about everything. And I've been practicing since I'm a child. Uh, some people say, no, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you a story. I had a friend. His name was Joey. And uh, he was a Spanish kid uh, with uh, an Italian mom. So a Spanish guy, if, you know, had and an Italian woman had this baby. Well, this baby had psychological issues, they said. This medicine, I said, what medicine are you taking? Now, maybe I could have gotten in trouble for this, but I was a kid then. Uh, but now, but I said, what medicine are you taking? He said, uh, this is what I got to take every day. What time you got to take it, Joey? I'm going to meet you and you're going to take your medicine. You haven't been taking your medicine, Joey. He said, how do you know? I said, because you're acting what everybody else says as crazy. But I find it funny. And he goes, you really find it funny? It's funny, ain't it? He goes, I don't mean to act this way, but I get nuts, man. The cars, this, that. So it was the summertime, and we hung out. I started to tell him to cut his hair, started giving him some clothes of mine, started giving him a sham like cleaning himself up and one day we all go and hang out and all these girls that used to make fun of him and uh you know say oh my god joey he's a little nuts all of a sudden that night it was a full moon that night we were out and i said joey this is gonna be the best night ever just don't have sex and he said to me, John, what are you talking about? A woman won't look at me. I said, oh, they're going to look at you. That you got the magic. He goes, what do you mean you got the magic? I said, you got the star magic. So Joey goes out. We get out of the car. You know, a couple of my friends drove. We go hang out. Now, there's a bunch of people drinking out there and all this stuff. We're not drinking. Joey gets out of the car and these girls run up to me and they, I was pretty well known when I was young. So, I mean, everybody knew me. So at the end of the day, they said to me, who's that kid? I said, oh, he's off the boat. They said, he's off the boat. I said, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's Joey's cousin. That's Joey's cousin? Yeah, that's Joey's cousin. I go up to Joey and I said, your name's Enrique, all night. He said, why? Your name's Enrique. Oh my God, can you set me up with Enrique? Can you give me his number? Can you do this? Can you do that? All of them kissing all over him, giving him hugs, bringing him uh I think Joey used to drink Coca-Cola at that time. It wasn't good, but he used to drink it. And uh, all of a sudden, all the girls are there. They're so happy. And I said, I can't pull the crank anymore. They said, why? What are you talking about? I said, that's Joey. That ain't Joey. What are you, crazy? Joey, is that you? Yeah, it's me. And that day, those girls 
looked at Joey in another sense, that they never made fun of him. And he, even though he was bipolar, it was more of his emotions around people that loved him and he was able to uh, join. So I, I had a lot of friends like that, that were bipolar, paranoid schizophrenia, and I would always, um, it always felt like I was doing therapy, that a lot of people would just talk to me out of nowhere and um, tell me all their problems. And uh, when I was young, you used to get scared of that. And you would be like, oh my God, I'm gonna catch this, I'm gonna catch this, I'm, I feel this way. And, but of course I had good training um, I realized that I, I, I'm this way shower, you know, this light worker, this, uh, this energy. And uh, we never know where we are. So when you share love with a loved one, maybe a loved one has bipolar, paranoid schizophrenia, that does not label them that that is them. If you are bipolar, paranoid, schizophrenia, you have any sort of issue that someone's labeling you and you feel abused, call us. Call us, we'll start a special group for everybody. We're not here to prescribe medicine, we're not here to do this, we're here to needs. When we're looking at all these different disorders, the body is out of balance because there's different minerals, chemicals, toxins that may or may not be stuck inside of the body, depleted and all these different things. So when the vitamins and the different sources of this, whether it's emotional toxin, toxic environments, relationships that trigger different things, you have to understand that when you do go through states of worry, anxiety, even depression and manias, all that different things, your body uses chemicals, your body uses and depletes itself of these survival hormones and all these different things that pump through in order to help you get through to the next situation. So we really like to see people recovering naturally from these different ailments that they say based on the tools that are given. Creative expression and art being a major way that someone process and not just process the emotions or process the sickness inside of them, but comprehend beyond why it's happening. How can you see yourself fully well, fully healthy, and not get stuck in an illusion where someone's trying to put you down or say that you're a certain way. So we look at your power and your inner strength through everything. You could have the possibility to blame someone else for the way that things are, or constantly hold a grudge against someone that did something against you. But in a way, that's not going to further a healing. We also like to focus on the forgiveness aspect. I love you, please forgive me, thank you, I'm sorry. Aspects of ancient Hawaiian Ho'oponopono teachings that we do have another card deck for people that are more sensitive, they're more in tune to that compassion. They've been through severe trauma. These Ho'oponopono healing, cleaning cards are going to are going to um, just awaken that point inside for you to heal even further, or even open the door to start the process of healing and processing what's going on based upon the situations that people want. They want happiness. They want to feel joy. They want to feel loved by their mother and their father and maybe a loved one around them. Not just felt it where it's said in a casual way, but felt it where the whole being is encompassed by this energy of love that doesn't even have to be physical. So we teach different techniques that this can be achieved. We don't use our magic for harm because what would that really benefit? There's too many people out there and it's and maybe it's not even people, it's people from the past where war was started and the war continues but the reason was forgotten. Where there's war there will always be peace. You can find pockets and the war isn't what people think on the outside, it's the internal turmoil and confusion that someone may have by not knowing their true purpose, by being confused with distractions. 
see it, you could be watching some mind bending nonsense out there, but instead you're here listening to something that could change your life because you have a purpose and you're meant to achieve that purpose. It is written in the stars, whatever that means to you. You have to acknowledge that you could have the ability to transform at an amazing rate, or you can go as slow as you want with procrastination and you gotta be okay with it. You can't make yourself feel bad any other way. Some people will tell you to slow down. Some people will tell you to speed up. Okay, that's good. Don't fuel it with negative emotion is all I'm trying to say. There's always a way to go in it with a laugh and with the power and with the self-assurance that maybe what you need is to ground. Grounding, putting your feet in the dirt. So the star magic is in the earth as well, in the dirt. Whatever the experience was, whatever the story is remembered to be, because sometimes we don't remember things the way that they actually are. We have to remember the illusions we tell ourselves. Let's break free from all of that. Let's experience heaven on earth now. And Solia talks more about this with her labyrinth work and how she walks the labyrinth for people to see that inside of them and find the maze. They go straight to the source of their confusion inside. So Celia can talk more about that later on when we do the call this afternoon. We're having another call on Blog Talk Radio at 2.30, hopefully. If we can't go live there, we're going to go live again on uh, Facebook. And the call-in number is going to be in the event for what we have this afternoon. And for that, if you have any questions, you just call in on the phone. You can listen from any time zone. And I'm about to announce, because the Star Dimensions is great. The, the, the best understanding right now, we took down this book because it went into study. Literally. It was called the Book of Acta. And when I channeled this, I literally channeled it, and uh, Dr. Olivia was with me, and I said that if I put this out, there's going to be something to be reckoned with. And uh, this book is a poetics way of expressing with hidden NLP and phrases to change your whole being. Because we look at the ancient ones that studied the stars wouldn't have talked the way that we talk now. So through the Star Magic Dimension channel that we opened, the Book of Actum is being reborn with uh, Dr. John as the author of it. And then as my contributions go into and we add the cards, it's going to be like a, a guidebook to it, but not so you can read other people so that you can unlock these dimensions of infinity, the magic the illusions, the tricks inside of you, because you do have the ability to be whatever you want. Let's just make sure it's aiding humanity. You're not going in a malicious way, and fear doesn't overpower. So the Book of Actum, the original version was in 2018 by Achito. Printing goes to Achito, and this had, I do remember these, very, very intellectual, sketches and different pictures with numbers and codes that was a part of the system. You remember that? Yes, that was in Samathi Gung Fu's system and I was on the Grandmaster Cheeto at the time and we tested that in the whole entire Virginia, New York, Florida, uh, D.C. and uh, I think North Carolina and South Carolina district. Yes. And then also the West Coast, some Central and Africa, India, and the Philippines as well, yes. this reach. So there's pockets of people that have gotten the healing, and then we had to, it was just an experiment so we could see the impact, but we realized that it was too strong was for too people. Powerful. It was so powerful that when they denied the teaching, they denied the true God inside themselves. It's not that we cause them harm. It's their own harm inside of them. Let's just We're say gonna... it, set, it set them off on a different journey. Yes. Because really, all the other students, they went on 
soul journeys inside of the earth that it could have been painful, could have been suffering, but we've noticed that when we work with someone, it is a life changer wherever they want to go. So I'm going to read the introduction, Actum Has Begun. Throughout my life, I have learned that for most people, life is an obstacle. Your reality really isn't real. I will teach you the power of positive intentions. This book was written to help you with that concept of positive self-identity. When you use these intentions every day and meditate on them, your life will change. There is one intention affirmation for each day of the year further on in this book. In order to use this book correctly, there are two ways. One way is to read one intention every day and sit for at least a minimum of 15 minutes to meditate. The second way is to read as many intentions as you like and sit for at least a minimum of 15 minutes to meditate. Your goal is to reach an hour of meditation after reading the intentions. Now I'm going to explain how to do a simple meditation. Sit in a comfortable and quiet place. Do three deep breaths. Inhale, hold, exhale. Repeat twice, clear your mind. Now concentrate in your breathing and go deep into yourself. When you're doing a meditation, you can also do it by repeating the intention that you just read. You can put incense in a room in which you are meditating. The intentions that I have in this book are changed and have changed my own life. I felt that I needed to share this with the world because I've seen that a lot of people are walking with stress in their life because they don't take the time to release the stress and meditate. At the moment, I also have noticed a lot of people are walking unconscious. I know that this book is going to help break that pattern and awaken many people even more. They will continue to live in the now and become conscious. I hope that you, the reader, enjoy this book and find happiness and peace within this book. I know that by the end of the year of doing the intentions, you're going to see a change in your life. Live well in light and blessings to everyone. My mission. My mission is for everyone to understand love and compassion. The goal is ridding myself of the ego in which we choose to do every day. Therefore, my plain mission in life is to let everybody experience myself from my own experience and my true nature of who I am. The mission is to help us help those that are in need. The mission is to help those that are in need. The mission is to understand that they may still have illusions with inside themselves that they cannot take part. The mission is to understand the true self. My teachers, they are everything and everybody in which I have met. For me to list my teachers, it will go on for days, years, so on and so forth. So I will start with the understanding that I have thanks to my teachers, my ancestors, and all my teachers' teachers. To understand this, you must understand that everyone in life is your teacher. To give respect to one, you must give respect to all. Therefore, I understand who my teachers have been. I understand the placement of their teachers. Everyone in life that I meet, even the animals, are my teachers. I must give thanks to the whole entire universe for my teachers. Every day, in every way, you learn from everyone that is around you. My greatest power. What I would state is, what is the greatest power? I would take out that strong phrase, the greatest power. There is a strong part in the saying of saying the greatest power because the greatest power is the infinite side with inside the self that is inside the universe. Therefore, I am that in which I am that everyone is. Therefore, my greatest power is something in which everyone can understand. 
The biggest, greatest power with inside of myself is compassion for everyone to understand who I am without ego. My creative talents. My creative talent is compassion for listening and understanding. The gift is to understand those that are in need. The talent is understanding that everyone in life is special and I teach everyone that they are special. I help them rid the programming of everyone that has placed something inside of them. This is not from them. This is a life. I teach to understand that everyone is precious and that they are a gem. They are a diamond. They are a part of something. So my creative talent, as I would say, would be compassion and experience in life that I can share with those that are in need. Knowing. Just to know without having to look for the answers. The grace in knowing that the answer is there. Knowing that all is one with inside the self and I do not need to do a certain act. I can just respond without knowing because I am a part of something. I am a part of something that everyone is. So that was the introduction of the book of Actum. The next chapters go into Dr. John's explanations of reconstructing the self what acta means in poetic ways, the five non-illusionized main ways people act in life, what factum is, understanding a concept of being a human being, deus, which is deity, divine God. So there's a mixture of Latin, different French languages, Sanskrit imagery, and also neurolinguistic programming in the numbers of the pictures too. So that's very important that the pictures go along with what's getting written inside the book. You have a, both a, a poetic download through a divine channel, a medium for many years, as well as pictures and healing art that can awaken both sides of the brain. You have to think of it psychologically. You have right and left side of a hemisphere. So we also go into poems here. We go into the elements, we go into existence, what it means to have true prayer. God, that power, Jesus, Allah, Hashem, Elohim, Adonai. I like to say all the names because really whatever someone feels inside of them at what point at they're at, it's just going to go to the pure source, greatest love. So we have a poem. Should I read a poem, you think? Yeah, read a poem, but let everybody know before you hear this poem, this is written in an NLP, Neuro Linguistic, Scientific, Physical Experiment that it was written that if you have fear, if you think evil, if you think that, take it slow when you hear this because you think you're being attacked and you got to run away, okay? Yeah, there's many varieties. Uh, he likes to say that these are energy healing poems. So a poem is an incantation, a magical creation. doesn't matter what language it's in. Works well with beats and drums, and we do here on Facebook. We have the background music, so I could turn this up a little bit. So we have some sort of beat going along with it. But it was playing throughout the whole time I was reading the other thing. Yeah. So Facebook gets a special treat because we have the screen share. So this poem is called "I Am" for everyone. You're on a journey. There are chronicles. There are prophecies. Who am I? I am that in which is. That which was and always is, something that cannot be named. If named, it loses the true source. Therefore, I rid attachments, I let it be. To understand the source of which I am, I am not the name. I am free. I rid myself of all programming of others. No one can shake or break this foundation. I am that in which I am built on solid ground. I am free free from negativity because that is a name. I am free from all negative emotions. I am pure bliss. I am wealth. I am vibrant health. I am youth. I am. I am in you. You are in me. I am in everything. I am that which is no form, no shape. I am unconditional love. Unconditional love is a good lesson. Next in the sections, you have affirmations. Really nice. Like he mentioned earlier, 365 affirmations. One affirmation for every day of the year. 
Now, this, these are special affirmations. I had uh, a cousin, and uh, Dr. Olivia knew who she was. Her name was Susie. And she was a little bipolar. And I told her, if you're going to study with me and you want to learn, I need 365 affirmations written from you. And she hand wrote every one of them in a journal. And then afterwards she died, but she gave us the, the, her 365 affirmations. And some of them repeat, some of them were even written the wrong way and we didn't even change it. We just put it in there so all the analytical a-holes would say, look, you have a misspelling word. No, it's uh, someone that took our teachings very deep and she yes. did not have to take medication the whole time. Uh, when she was around me. But she had other health issues that right. aided to uh, just her path in life, her passing on. So, so this is from a master teacher that if you look in the book, 365 positive phrases that are for you to just expand on you, really. Get positivity, confidence, expression. So I'm just going to pick a number. Yeah. And we'll just go through them. If 158. You, Lori, good. If you have a problem in this that you don't know, but if you get the teachings with this book uh, that we're going to start, uh, you get inside a group and you buy the book and you get into our programs on WhatsApp. We're going to have uh, constant teachings with people who bought the book and then actually privately teach for uh, stores and uh, metaphysical places, yoga places yes. to teach this. And we also have other energy healing poetry books as well as memoirs from our students meditation guides that are self-published where you can look in the links in the description google the names you'll see what you can add as an addition to like he said the stores you know we're about the distribution and with the platform for the playing cards that you see here the tarot cards the oracle cards the activation decks the power cards that those are all wholesale prices that stores can go and buy in bulk and share the cards with the world and then they send them to this different platform where you can see that we're reaching. So 158 on the affirmation list. The universal essence protects the people that are looking for the light now and forever. Wow, guys, listen that to nice, that. that listen phrase. to that. Listen to that. And I remember the day she called me up. She calls me up and she said, John. I said, yes, Susie, can I help you? I'm working. What are you doing? Teaching yoga. Oh, you're the teacher, just talk to me. Okay, Susie, what do you want? 158, and she read it to me. She went with one of my students uh, to chant. And I kept telling my student, go chant with her, go chant with her, go chant with her. Just go chant with her. And the student said, I felt it. And then she came up with this. Read 158 again. What was it? The universal essence protects the people that are looking for light now and forever. Wow. I feel it every time I read it. Now, these are embedded with some deep spiritual secrets. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see. It's like five full pages of affirmations. And that's just one chapter after the poems. Then you go into infinite love. Chapter 8, infinite love. is very, very beautiful. Different symbolisms. Here's some more healing art activation pictures. And then there's an internal contract that you write with yourself where you actually have to write your name into the book. So this had some very powerful self, not that you're making a contract with a divine power outside of you. This is affirmations that you are going to change. We do not have any involvement in the success or the failure in which you say, but it's more of 
a big encouragement that you can do anything you want to if you got to change your whole life change your whole being you know maybe that's just a sign that it's time and then you go into closing um, closing the session because this book of Actum is a spiritual consulting session a healing session with the art healing artists and the author that wrote the poems and also brought it into this world so the closing has to do with different codes of peace you can see poems and then you have a journal in the back where you reflect and you write now when you write inside of this book it is pure magic this book because it is one of the holy grails inside of life with the energy embedded into it not many people have experienced it which is why we say so when you take this it's a whole project a session inside you have a journal and it says to write in pencil as a different connection to the earth every single thing is an alchemical code inside this book I think maybe that's why people got so um, energetically activated maybe they didn't know how to handle it inside of them because they went to straight to judge it instead of listening to the teachings on how to decode it. Isn't that what spirituality okay, decoded Okay, this online is what is? we're going to do for everybody right now, live. Give them the beginning of Actum, like where it says it begins. Now, guys, don't nitpick, don't act like anything. Just be neutral. This is to see if you can be neutral. This is the beginning. It's very intellectual. Very. Okay. Reconstruction of the self. That's the, that's the one after intro. Very important. The book of Actum was created because being human is natural. There is life and death. We are affected by the laws of nature. Each human body has its own law waiting to be discovered by the individual. Our bodies are made of water and we must clear all emotions inside these waters. We must use all elements and all herbs that have been placed on this earth to obtain true balance. We must build a true faith inside that we are the true I am we state in the affirmations we recite. With this, miracles will happen inside our lives. We are all creators inside once we find our own true self. We are the true I am within. It does not matter what religion someone might be. Our goal is to teach the basic understanding that everything is alive. We teach on how to balance everything that has been given to us on earth and all around us. There is energy in everything. We teach on how to use certain herbs for healing, which have been used since the biblical times. These herbs are not supposed to be taken internally. Since energy can be transferred, we teach on how to use natural elements and the healing powers of the herbs. We teach the basics on transferring this energy into our lives to bring balance. Since we cater towards any faith, this is a message that all people must understand. Even in the Bible and Holy Scriptures, herbs were used for healing. This is not a form of cult voodoo or black magic. We just teach what has been passed down for years. Along the way, these teachings have faded due to the illusionized power of society and the placing of fear into people's lives. We want to help restore balance to everyone so we understand the meaning that all is one. We must respect the earth and all that has been given to us. We must respect the earth and all its resources. And then you have the Aramaic Lord's Prayer here, which was used for the early days in the Tarot classes. And then we yes. read on the mats. So that was very powerful. Actum. Treaty, peace, to act, make, or do. No. Guys, you, you're going to want to come and study with us because we're the teachers from the one that did it. Now, Dr. Olivia was with me during all this, experienced this, downloaded it, taught it with me, experienced it. So what would you say that is? Let's break it down, guys. We're going to break it down for women, right? Just women. 
right now. We're not taking women's sides or men's sides. Then she's going to do a men's side too. What does this book of Actum do to teach someone law? Everyone likes to separate the man and the woman and the masculine and feminine and what is good for one. And I could say, because, I mean, from my personal experience as a woman, biologically, and also inside of life, it has to do with balancing the roles inside of society, what you say for yourself, and also what someone might say for you. Should you have a child? Should you have a family? Should you get married? Should you date this one, marry that one? All of these things that go into life, and then if it's not transferred correctly inside the body, they can eventually affect your health, leading to different types of emotional disorders, leading to physical ailments, blockages, bad eating habits that can lead in different cancers and heart issues and blood issues. So that, that is a universal aspect that goes for men too, because I'm not just explaining, okay, a man can't have body image issues or have something about not uh, being a certain way as a role in society, like manly or weak or all these different things. It goes all different ways. Health-wise, hormonally-wise, there is an inner balance that's achieved throughout study within a certain amount of years. And this is something, as a human being, it affects every single person. The way the body flows and the way the body detoxes and then different traumatic situations, how you handle it, how you rejuvenate yourself and not go into the spastic worry when your body is depleted. Like we talked earlier in this session, there are things that some people blame spirituality, they blame magic, darkness, voodoo, all of these things that make them feel a certain way. They do something, it's out of their control, but really it's your body and your mind replaying these certain scenes out of fear and you're basically depleting your own minerals. You're replaying these own negative thoughts. You're not exercising the correct muscle forms or in the correct way that your body is gonna be able to rebuild itself. So it's mostly all self-inflicted is what I would say. And it also has to do with the environment on where you're in, internally taking the information. It doesn't just go towards man and woman, but we have helped a lot of women and men, but more women, overcome abusive relationships where there's family patterns of rape and molestation and different things that people carry on to their adulthood. And maybe even the past and their ancestry has died and passed this pain on for someone to overcome it. So whatever the path is or how long you do study with us, when you do come, you get you get not what you get it's what you find with inside you find with inside the inner strength that never left you the peace that was there the innocence that can be brought up the beauty really inside of life that is inside of you it goes for men as well some people have these rigid thought patterns of I have to act a certain way, I have to provide, I have to do this, and you're constantly being taken advantage of. And also, there is an ugliness inside that's self-inflicted. We're here to show that everyone is beautiful. When you work with star magic, and you have that celestial god, goddess energy inside, the innate beauty comes out. I feel like, in a way, most people, we make ourselves ugly because we don't want the attention or we want the attention so bad that it's a self-sabotage. So there's so many psychological ways we go into it and how we saw people interact and also glimpses of it in our own lives that you've heard the stories that John's saying and also from my experiences with the arts and seeing different people, I can make it into a comprehensible way that can expand your mind. Maybe it's not totally comprehensible, but it's just really on what you want to expand to so the systems for men and for women it's just all around greater senses of accomplishment confidence not having a fear in any blockage of any center and being very comfortable inside of your own body your own physical form and then wanting to have that connection every single day where you're taking time to exercise to stretch and eat the good food prepare the good food give it good names, all this stuff. So you have here the Star Magic Dimension Oracle. It's showing you many different things. And it's been running through, playing into infinity. And 
we're gonna go live a little later. This was something that that we wanted to share just to explain a little bit about the energy healing, the consultations, and then we're gonna read the part of the beginning where we say that you have opened the book so it has begun. And then we'll end. And then we'll end this, but it's to some people, people get scared. They're saying it's demonic. They're saying it's, it's hilarious. But we're gonna read it and we're gonna play some cards. Slideshow, here we go. Okay, so you open this book. The book has opened. You cannot control this book. You can, le you can learn to control what is deep inside. How can I state this? I declare because this is my book. I have seen many teachers know my words and you will know my understanding. You will know my teachers as they are my master's masters, their master's masters, and their master teachers. I do not choose fame as fame has always been inside of me. I choose to teach behind and be left alone. I put myself up to be ridiculed, laughed at, and looked at. Our masters will know these teachings. It's time to open your book. May every master heal from this so-called thing Maya that has been affecting the world. The only thing I can say as your journey goes on is to smile. Even if you hate and get angry, you are not able to come and attack as my book has begun. The minute you move is open game. We choose to play the right game. It's the game of life. If you are angered, then you must repeat and cleanse or find that correct teacher in which you seek. As I stated, you can leave now. However, you will never leave. You opened this book. Sit back and get cozy. It's about to get in here fuzzy with love. Heart in Latin is core, heart in Greek is cardia. The four main functions of the heart maintain proper flow and strength of the biomagnetic field of the individual. The key is the heart. The scientific name for the heart refers to the prefix myo. Anagrams of myo are moi, yam, or ami, O-M-Y. This is the symbol of mommy for humans and the need for our mother earth. This is the love, affection, and acceptance we need in life from the material beings according to society's teaching us as people. What is the earth's hum? It is the vibration of the earth movement, internal functions, and celestial phenomenon that occur on or around the earth's system. It is the hum and the frequency vibration of everyone's actions here on earth. We must vibrate in love through the heart as much as we can. And we have here showing the Magic High Caddis Oracle deck. That was a little bit of the Book of Actum. Actum meaning treaty, peace, to act, make, or do, coming from different Latin derivatives, varieties. And it all has to go with the message that the person wants to hear at this point in time. So with that, I'm going to go into the five non-illusion main ways people act in life. One, letting go. Two, accepting. Three, sharing. Four, generosity. Five, love. The five non-illusion main ways people act in life. One, letting go. Two, accepting. Three, sharing. Four, generosity. Five, love. When we go to this, we must say, well, where am I? Um, am I a Swami? Am I a Sufi? Am I uh, a Jewish rabbi? Am I a Hindu priest? The true master would say, why are you asking me this? You're here to be, here to be God, right? Aren't you God? Give me a hug. No, you're at war with illusion. So inside this book, if you, when you study with us, 
This is uh, one of our, the Book of Actum, it's a three-year program. And then you get first-level certification. There's 21 levels in this book. And we're also going to have a card deck. And we're only going to pick 52 people uh, from so many states to read. This card deck is going to be an extension of the Star Magic Dimensions deck. We had to reinvert Actum so many times to get the full effect in, in a sacred geometric way. We're handling all faces of people. And in the Magic High Caddis, Yaakov also mentioned that it is the faces, the 55 faces of people inside the cats. Yes. So that goes into Actum. So you'll see in all of our teachings that they might have different topics. There might be different guests that we have on a different variety of healing because we like specialties, but also people pure of heart that are really willing to help the world. All of our creations go hand in hand and our little puzzle pieces to the 369,000 laws inside the system. Right, and you cannot consciously Give me all the raw laws written. That is not the way that those laws are passed. It's yes. passed from a master looking into the eyes of another master and just smiling. The light that is shared cannot be uh, expressed, cannot be told. It's just that magic moment. It doesn't mean that you're totally enlightened for life because you're always enlightening the master is not one that is so enlightened. The master has cleared a lot of the things that you could not, so you go to them for light. They're the guru, the riddle of darkness. But why not the keeper of my own dark? You're the keeper. Now, here's the choice. And you'll learn that truth treaty if you train with us and I'm giving it for free right here but you can't activate it until you learn mm. should I give it should I give it what's the activation there's a lot of activations wouldn't you like to know wouldn't you like to know how to take baking soda vinegar and chamomile tea and mop your floor and clear your emotions immediately and open your windows where the rain fall, whatever it is. Out of vinegar out, your whole entire house has nothing to do with voodoo, anything else. Using a chemical that's not a chemical. Creating your own vinegar over months and months to clean fermenting many different varieties for medicine. There are many ways that you can go about using the ancient alchemy that's not going to harm the body, but that's going to bring your space to a different consciousness. Because yes, you're changing consciousness too as you're viewing this. The light, the love, the grounding, the earth, the tools that you might have for your magic. But it's also inside of your space where is the proper flow in the grids? Always flowing. So we had here just some information about what we do, the Book of Actum, the cards. And we're gonna go on again at 2.30 today. If anyone has any more questions, we'll be answering some questions we received from emails. And today we answered some deep ones regarding different relationships, cars through the star magic dimensions, those, that was the magic high caddis. Again, we're Surya's Soul Sun, you can go here to the Yogi Healing Deck Store, Yogi Tarot, where you can find all of our decks, and we're featuring this new one today that we're going to work into, make the show for it, um, Awaken Mandala's Creative Activations. Now we made this as every person is an artist inside of themselves. It's to focus your divine creative energy through the hexagon shape. Each card is a hexagon that can pair up, as you can see in this picture here, that goes into its own shape. 
and then each card has a mandala sacred geometry that is embedded with healing frequencies and then a message for what you need to be inspired so you can read the messages here there's 24 cards that go straight to the creative there's a little star magic in here as well where you can see the different shapes of the galaxies the stars and the messages that are very intricately created strategically put in a specific way with the words to unlock that creativity inside of you or even enhance it as we do mentor a lot of artists and spirituality and art is basically the same we have many more decks coming out stay tuned and we hope to talk to you soon take care